Well, we're back again after a couple of history videos. I hope you saw them. So it's match day vlog again. It's Newcastle United against Leicester City. And I learned an interesting fact about Leicester. In 2012, they found the remains of King Richard III under a city centre car park. He died at the, the Battle of Bosworth, I think it was in 1485. That's inspired local archaeologists here in Newcastle to dig up the car park next to St James's Park because they believe they found the remains of the Newcastle team who last won us a domestic trophy. I had to come to London Cos I couldn't find a job But I don't intend to stay long If I make a few quick bob It's cold up there in summer It's like sitting inside a fridge So what do I think is going to happen today? It's a tough one on paper I think as a team pound for pound Leicester are better than us We're just not quite there yet um, So I think the neutrals will probably put um, A Leicester win today But I'm hoping and they should have the eye on European football after getting to the semis of the Europa Conference League and with their league position at the moment they're neither here nor there they've had a, for their standards quite a poor season but having said that on the day they could cause us some problems but we're at home I'm hoping they've got one eye on Europe I'm hoping they feel a bit jet lagged after being away um, playing in European football but having said all that I'm actually going to go for a Newcastle win today and I'm seeing a few goals, I, I think I'm going to go for a 3-2 win. I think we'll have the same squad, uh, albeit I'm not sure if Ryan Fraser's going to play. If, if, isn't, if he isn't, I see Al Moron or Jacob Murphy coming in, just a straight swap. Um, but we'll have to keep an eye on James Madison, what a handful he is. That he tore us apart in that 4-0 defeat back in December. But I think Joe Linton might have the job of keeping him quiet. So anyway, it's an absolutely gorgeous Easter Sunday and I'm going to have a wander around the city centre and try and capture some of the fan atmosphere. Yeah, OK, well, I'm, I'm Simon, I'm a uh, hardcore Leicester fan. I'm from the port pie town of Melton Mowbray. And I'm Harvey, um, same as um, my dad, from port pie Melton Mowbray and yeah, just a hardcore Leicester fan. So obviously we've, we've travelled up here yesterday to see, uh, to see the, the, the mighty blues uh, take on uh, the tune. <laughs> um, hoping for a, for a good afternoon in the sunshine uh, this Easter. How are you doing, Let's We are from uh, Leuven, Belgium City, the chorus of the Leuven Let's. We have the same owners, uh, our team, as uh, Leicester City, King Power, and every year we try to see a game of Leicester City. Today we're going to see Newcastle. I hope for a lot of goals. I hope also for a 2, 3, 5 goals. We yesterday went to the stadium, amazing vibe, and we're looking forward to it. I. I think I'm going to go 2-1 today, um, I, think, I think, think it would be a close one, but uh, I think we're going 2-1 today, Sir Maximin and Dan Byrne to get a goal, and for Leicester, I think Ian Acho. Where's that Geordie boy? <laughs> are we, are we the... Love it! He's one of our best friends, he used to play for Leicester City, he's a Newcastle lad, so I'm here for the weekend, I've got godchildren who are wearing Leicester shirts, so aren't I a lucky girl? Uh, the Geordie welcome is part for none, and in this pub it's extra special. Well I've got Paul here from uh, the Tune Review, he's got an excellent channel, if you haven't already seen it, check it out, I'll put a link in the description box below. Uh, Paul, thanks for joining us on Tyneside Life. What do you think's gonna? I tell you what. I mean, I'm just sheared and just under six foot three. How tall are you? Uh, six five, mate. So a couple inches above. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get a, You know, this is one of them things. <laughs> Studying me new all my life. Uh, so what do you think's gonna happen today? Uh, tough game. I think um, hopefully maybe Leicester have made some changes from Europe. Um, I did say 4-1 on my uh, preview show, which is, a, I think, a tad optimistic looking back. But, hey, you never know. We might, they might make a lot of changes. We might be on fire today. So, I'm hoping for three points either way. Right, uh, Stephen Emma Dempsey, Leicester fans. I think, uh, I think Newcastle will score first. Uh, and I think uh, the end result will be Leicester 3-1. Yes, yeah, my name is Chida and my friends. You are Chida. Yeah. yeah. We're from Thailand. Yes. Sawadika! <laughs> we are supporting Newcastle United and today we go to the match and yeah. live in Newcastle. Yeah, we from, uh, live in Newcastle and we supporting uh, Newcastle. What will yeah. the score be? Today, uh, 3-1. I thought 3-1 is good for us. Yes, yeah, 3-1 to Newcastle. Hi, I'm Scott Merrill. I'm Chris Merrill. I'm David Merrill. I'm Andy Gubbins. I'm Isabel Merrill. 
in, in Leicester, we're known as the Croods. We're that bad. <laughs> so we've come to watch the match today. Obviously, we think Leicester are going to win. Big we've result. been to Newcastle many times. The biggie market, the quayside. Have a great night out. Met Gaza there one time. Couldn't match his drinking, though, but we had a good time. 3-1 today. Unfortunately, Jamie Vardy's not here to do the job, but James Madison will do it for us. My dad, their granddad, carried the coffin of King Richard III into his grave in the cathedral at Leicester. I'm Lee Eaton. I'm Theo. 2-1 Newcastle. And who's your favourite player? Uh, Bruno Gomorrez. Kieran Trippier. Paula Maxwell. Been Newcastle supporter all my life. We've got the full family up here today. And what did, we're putting this today's game to our uncle Ray who's 91 year old who died the other day and has been a Newcastle supporter all his life so this is for you uncle Ray and let me have a win 2-1 will do me come on the tune hi I'm Eva and I'm from Newcastle and I think the score is going to be 2-1 to Newcastle. Right, and we're two young lads here on bikes outside of the Gallagher then. Looks to me, lads, that you are here to cause some bother. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're going to cause some hassle, are you? Yeah, Where are you? We're live. Newcastle till I die. Right, I'm with uh, Jack and Ross from Leicester Fans TV. Welcome to Newcastle, lads. Yes. Vos Arch, just give us one word to sum up Newcastle, the city. Very good. Loyalty. Very good. That was two words. Rich. <laughs> no, that's a loyalty. That's a I, I, I think cool. passion. Yeah, it's good. Pass so, through. and brilliant. What do you think the score's going to be today? 3-1 Leicester. I think 2-1 Leicester, but it'll be a very tough game. Very tough game. Right, I'm with uh, Rachel and Steph. So, who are your favourite players? Uh, Alan St. Maxim. Bruno. And what do you think the score's going to be today? 2-1 Newcastle. Mm, yeah, I think the same. If you'd like to see more videos like this and be notified the moment I release the next one, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So the team sheets are out, it's exactly as I thought really. Um, we've got Miggy in instead of Ryan Fraser, but it's uh, much the same as the starting lineup against Wolves. For Leicester, they've got Perez starting. Um, him and Tielemans could cause some bother on the right hand side, but James Madison started as sub, uh, surprisingly. So uh, yeah, I do feel reasonably confident that we're going to turn around that horrific 4 0 defeat back in December to. Um, a few goals today with a narrow victory. In a fridge, but I wish I was on the case side. Looking at the old Tain Bridge, I'm coming home, Newcastle. I might as well have been in jail. I'd walk the streets all day. I'll meet for a bottle of your own brown nail. I'm coming home, Newcastle. If you never win the cup again. I'll brave the darkness in James's park at the Gallagher's end in the rain. I'm coming home. And I'm proud to be a Jody and to live in Jody land. Some people think we're body and we're hard to understand. And they say it's just self pity and we're not so very tough. Cause the people in the big fat city haven't had it half as rough I'm coming home Newcastle, you can keep your London wine I'd walk the streets all day, I'll need for a bottle of the river time I'm coming home Well it's Newcastle United 1, Leicester 1, I'll take that It's probably a little bit more than what I think we deserve to get uh, but for, I don't think we did anything in particular wrong, I just thought Leicester was far by far the better team, just better technically, better quality, better pressing, better passing, quicker passing, better in transition, winning second balls. We weren't even in the game the first half, I had an out and nothing more or less. By a little fumble by Schmeichel, Bruno was just two or put one more in. 1-1, uh, one, one. so for me, Bruno in the first half, they are standing out for me, he's been again, he's been exceptional. Miggy Almiron, he's been really good, John Joshua, he shows some quality. Maximin, caught in possession once or twice, which was quite unnecessary. It's all to play for in the second half, but before I forget, it's, uh, before I forget it's just been mentioned on Sunday the 1st of May, the Newcastle women's team up in Barnsley, they've got a chance of going top of the league and being promoted. So get yourself along to the match. I'll be there, hopefully I'll be able to film some of it. But um, yeah, it's all to play for in the second half.
I wish I'd never been away. I'd kiss the ground for the welcome sound in me mother saying, Hey, how we? I'm coming home, your castle. I may as well have been. Second half. Hey, three points! 